Hello decoders, in my recent job switch, I have been interviewed at many companies. In this video, we will be solving a question that was asked in different interviews. So in most of the interviews, interviewers tend to ask questions related to promises, where they might ask you to explain what promises are, or they might ask you to create your own custom polyfill for promise.all, promise.race methods, or they might give you a code snippet in which promises are present and they might expect you to guess the output of those particular code snippets. So yeah, in this video, we'll be solving a question which is to create our own custom polyfill for promise.all method. So and I'll and I have created a blog on this particular question and I'll be sharing this particular link to the blog in the description as well. And yeah, without wasting much time, let's start coding this particular promise.all polyfill creation. So firstly, let's understand how this promise.all actually works. Okay. To understand how this actually works, I'll be creating three promises. Okay. Let me create this promise one wherein this promise will be a new promise and this promise will have a callback function okay and in this callback function there will be two params which will be resolve and other is reject okay so let's resolve this promise with a particular value okay which is subscribe to rowdy coders okay so and similarly we'll be creating two more promises why i have created this promise means we have to practice promise creation that is the reason i have created this otherwise i would have copy pasted from here okay let me copy paste the other two promises okay here i'll be copy pasting these other two promises to save some time that's all and now this promise dot all method i'll be creating pr promise dot all this promise dot all accepts an array of promises okay so let me copy paste all of these three promises okay and this promise dot all will return a new promise okay to resolve that new promise i'll be attaching this then in which i'll have this data and I'll be consoling this particular data over here. So what will actually happen here means, as mentioned, this promise dot all will take an array of promises. And once after resolving all of these three promises, it will return all of the three promises data in an array. So let me, you know, let me execute it and show the output for you. So here, uh, here something happened where I'm promise spelling mistake let me execute it once again yeah so if you see subscribe to rowdy coders next crack next front end interview these are this is the actual output so similar to this promise dot all we need to create our own polyfill which will mimic this promise dot all okay to create our own polyfill what i'll do promise dot let's say i'll create my 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 all which will be our own polyfill and this polyfill as well accepts an array of promises and this will this should ideally return a promise and i'll be resolving that promise over here here data and this data i'll be consoling over here console.log of this data so ideally while calling this promise.all this should give the same output right so here this accepts an array of promises so what i'll be doing i'll be putting this promises in an array my yes my promise equals to this array and i'll be putting these promises over here and here as well i'll be putting so once after calling mm. this particular promise dot all this should ideally console the same what this promise dot all console right so now to achieve this we will be creating our own method for our promise dot all right so now we will have to create a method which will work similar to this particular promise dot all right so let me create this method right 
you will be creating an arrow function right and this particular arrow function will accept an array of promises similar to this particular all right so this is an array of promises array of promises and what we will do we will kind of iterate over each and every promise and we'll kind of you know resolve that data of that promise and we'll put it in an array and at the end we'll kind of return that array okay so and also if you observe this promise dot all is written is returning a new promise and that promise is being resolved over here and similarly this one will return a new promise and that that is being resolved over here so what we'll do in our method i'll be returning a new promise and and at the end we'll kind of resolve this promise resolve and reject will be the two methods within our callback function right so here we will have to iterate over each and every promise and we'll have to kind of resolve that promise right and then at the end as mentioned we'll put all the data of the promises that are being resolved in an array and at the end we'll kind of return that particular array so here what i'll do i'll kind of iterate over my array of promises for each and here a uh, promise will be one and index okay these two for the for each and while iterating i'll pick this promise right and this promise I'll be resolving right promise dot or e as well v of our promise right and whatever it resolves that item we need to kind of put it in an array so for that what I'll be doing I'll be kind of creating an array okay an array which is result result an empty array and whatever this particular you know promise returns that particular data i'll be putting in our result okay so here uh, that result of and let's say here if you observe this particular promise will return a data and this particular promise also will return a data and this particular promise also return a data if you observe this will return first and then this particular promise will be resolved and lastly this promise will be resolved if, if we push the result normally then first one this will be pushed and then this will be pushed and then this will be pushed but how we wanted we wanted in the same order where our array of promises are present to achieve that what i'll be doing i'll be putting the result of that particular promise in that particular index only right so here i'll be putting this data in this particular result right now what i'll do means you know after resolving all of the arrays all of the promises that are present in this array we need to kind of resolve this main promise right so what we will do means we need to know you know whether our result array is filled or not right so what we will do we will kind of have a constant completed which will be zero first okay and after you know after resolving this promise i'll kind of increment this completed by one okay once this completed will be equal to the length of the array of promises in that case i can say that all of my promises are completed so now if completed if completed is equals to array of promises length right array of promises length in that case i would say all of my promises are resolved in that instance what i'll do i'll kind of resolve my main promises that is being written over here so this resolve with my result i'll be resolving so now whenever this particular promise dot all will be called that will return a resolved data which is 
our result right so let me execute it and see how it actually working or not okay let me see here if you see promise dot all is not a function like that it is resolving so what i'll do i'll be kind of navigating this to the top and see okay let me execute it so here on a handle warning reference error i so here here i'm putting i here which should be index okay so let me put this as an index okay and now let me execute it there is one more error again assignment to a constant okay so here what we are doing we are actually changing trying to change a constant which shouldn't be the case let me execute it again yeah now it worked but um, it gave one output only but not the other output let's see why yeah so here if you see we should we should put it over here okay because once after resolving our data we need to check at this instance only right so let me execute it and see yeah if you see both of these promise dot all and promise dot my all is written in the same output so it is working as expected let's check this with other outputs as well let me reject this let me reject and see whether it is giving proper output or not right and let's handle the cache scen catch scenarios as well over here wherein for this particular then i will be kind of implementing catch functionality right console.log of this error let me execute it and see how it works and here as well let's handle the catch scenarios for both of these particular functions catch error console dot log of this error and similarly the catch functionality for this particular scenario as well right and let me execute it and see yeah both of these gave the same output for while rejecting one of the promise as well so it is working as expected and guys i i have created most asked interview questions playlist and i am i'm creating and to stay tuned to the latest interview questions please do subscribe to my channel